going to show you how easy it is to install the Atlantic Color Falls Kit. So let's get started. No worries here, Atlantic Water Gardens has taken care of all your needs with the 24 inch Color Fall Kit and their new 36 inch Color Fall Kit. Both kits come complete. They have your Color Falls, your pump, your filter material, your plumbing connections, your tubing, your anti-splash mat, and your basin. Everything's included. You have no worries. All you need to do is get started on your installation. Let's get started with showing you the plumbing assembly on the Color Falls Basin. You can see that we've taken some of the block material away from this basin so you can get an idea of how this is constructed. Uh, the basin has an arch to it and you can go ahead and stack your blocks right up against that arch on our basin. Um, it's as easy as using the wall block you see here and uh, making your radius. You can also do a rectangle and have planting pockets in each one of the corners. Uh, there's a variety of things you can do uh, with this Color Falls Basin uh, as far as the aesthetics around it. So, you know, don't be locked into an arched radius. Uh, just because our, the basin is designed that way, you have a lot of versatility to do pretty much whatever you want with this basin. So you can see your plumbing comes out of the Color Falls Basin right here. And we're going to break and we're going to go to a cutaway right behind me and show you exactly what that looks like in a nice close-up of how the pump and the plumbing all attach inside the basin. And then we'll show you the back of the Color Falls and how the uh, block is cut to fit the color falls and the color falls fits real nice up in the top notched out area there. So let's show you that cutaway. Okay, we have a great cutaway here of the assembly of the pump out of the color falls basin with the plumbing connections. You can see we have our pump here attached to our elbows and our connectors coming out of our color falls basin through a bulkhead fitting coming into another set of plumbing connections and tubing and then the rest of our tubing runs underneath the Color Falls Basin through a small arch chamber, getting you underneath your wall and up to the back of your Color Falls unit so you can return the water back to the unit. There you have it. That's how easy it is to connect the plumbing inside the Color Falls Basin. We have a great shot here of the back of the Color Falls and the back of our wall and the assembly that takes place. As you can see down on the bottom here, we have a connection that's coming from our tubing from underneath our Color Falls Basin through the block wall, coming up and connecting into a rubber connector here, more tubing into an elbow, directly into our Color Falls unit. That's how easy the connection is from behind the wall to the Color Falls. What we are looking at now is a close-up of the cutting process that you have to make in two of the wall blocks so you can install your color falls. You will need to cut down this block right here one half inch to accommodate for the thickness of the color falls. Okay we've taken a close-up look here at the block that is used to support the color falls while it sits in this wall. This is the support block that holds the base of the Color Falls up. You need to have that set at 3 and 3 8 inches high from this block. That will support the Color Falls base. Then you need to notch down the two blocks that the Color Falls sits on to accommodate for the thickness of the acrylic face. And at that point you've supported and notched out the block so you have a nice supported area for your Color Falls to go into. So as you can see, as I move this forward, we're now supported by the blocks right underneath the color falls here. And then again, the base is supported with that backside of the wall. We've extended this out just about a half inch past this wall. So when we put our capstones on, which I'll do next, and so you can see that the capstones go and rest on top of this, and that finishes the whole look and then we'll turn it on again and show you how that looks. Okay, let's put our capstones in place to show you how we're capping off the top of the Color Falls. You're going to go ahead and put this capstone in place, resting it on top of 
the acrylic color falls which is supported by this block below it. Remember not to glue these stones to this color falls in case you do need to do any maintenance or you want to remove it for the winter months you can just remove these three stones and uh, you're ready to go uh, with removing your color falls. So let's put the other two in place. Your color fall is now camouflaged by your capstones supported by your wall and let's turn that on and show you what it looks like. There you have it. There's your color falls with your capstones running. Let's take a closer look at the anti-splash mat, how easy it is to camouflage that anti-splash mat, and show you the pump chamber. Let's take a look at that pump chamber. This is your anti-splash mat. We're going to move that anti-splash mat, and we're going to remove the cover that protects the housing. And as you can see, this is our protective filter mat, which protects the water coming into the pump, which also protects the color falls from any clogging or debris getting caught in our color falls. So this is the chamber. This is how easy it is. We showed that cutaway earlier of how easy that is to hook up. But I wanted to show you the water in motion in front of our filter mat coming into our pump chamber, returning the water back up to our color falls. Okay, we had talked about camouflaging our anti-splash mat. As you can see, as the water goes into this mat, it truly keeps it uh, from splashing. What we can do to give this a more decorative look Okay, this is just to give you an example. You can use, you know, polished stones, Mexican pebbles, a gravel mix if you want to match your uh, block material. Whatever you'd like to do to cover the splash mat to give it a more decorative appearance, uh, you're able to do. Just remember to allow a little area for that water to travel directly into the anti-splash mat uh, so you so you don't get that splash from the rock material coming out of your basin area. Now that we've shown you the pump hookup and the color falls hookup and how it fits into this hardscape, let's show you the four colors of the color falls that we have available. You're looking at the warm white, which is called our soul white. We also have a crystal white, an ice blue, and a fire red color that will be available in all our color falls. Remember, those color falls are available in 12, 24, and 36 inch color falls, and we have kits available in 24 inch kits and 36 inch kits. So remember, work smarter, not harder.